Welcome to Community Foundation Spotlight. I'm Erica Joseph, President at the Community Foundation, and my guest today is Heather Mailer, our Program Director. You know that we often highlight different nonprofit organizations in the community to share how wonderful and diverse we are and how much good is happening right here on the Lower Eastern Shore. Today, we're going to take an opportunity to highlight a little bit about the Community Foundation and one of our upcoming and exciting opportunities for later this fall. Thanks for being here, Heather. Thanks for having me. So um, just as a little bit of background, in case people don't know who the Community Foundation is, talk a little bit about what you do there and how you help connect people who care to causes that matter. Okay, that'd be um, a good thing to talk about. Uh, so what we do at the Community Foundation is connect donors to um, causes that matter to them in the community. And what I do in the programs department, along with our other staff, is identify those agencies that have needs and have the causes that matter. So I get to interface with churches, schools, nonprofits, and government agencies as they're performing their work in the community. And we have a number of different grant programs throughout the year that organizations can apply for, and they can visit our website to get all of that information. Yeah, um, we now have an e-grant um, portal, which is easily accessible through our website, um, cfes.org, and it's very easy to locate. We're under the nonprofit section. And so as part of our work um, within the community and connecting to all of these different wonderful organizations, um, we're getting ready to jump into our third year of, um, it's not, you know, it's not just ours, it's not something unique um, nationally, but it is unique here on the Lower Eastern Shore, uh, Giving Tuesday. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so Giving Tuesday is a national campaign that um, the Community Foundation has come on board with, and it is a wonderful and exciting exciting way to engage your donors during one single day in the fall. Um, this year it falls on November 28th. It's right after um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So when you're, you know, when you've worn yourself out shopping, then you get to think about charity and all the things that you love in your community. And a good reason to save a little bit to help connect to your favorite organizations. Um, here locally that are doing so much good. So we'll have, we'll go through Thanksgiving, we'll eat lots of good food, we'll hopefully find a few deals on things we need or, or really want, and then um, once we come back to work on Monday, it'll be a great opportunity to start looking at our Giving Tuesday site, right? Because it's going to be live in terms of seeing who's on there a little bit before that, correct? Yep, yep. Um, you can come into the website, which is, um, www.shoregivesmore.org. Actually, anytime in November, it'll be locked in place probably by the first week in November. You'll be able to see um, many different nonprofit profiles listed on that page. And one of the neat things you can do this year is if you want to sit down with your family or your friends and look at you know what might interest you, you can pre-schedule your gift. So you can start doing that on November 20th. And we know a lot of people in the community told us last year that they were giving those as gifts for the Christmas holiday. It was a way for them to do something in honor of a person that they would, you know, maybe have to go buy a, a gift card for or something because they didn't really know what they needed. And that was a way for them to sort of get some of their shopping list done and feel good about it. Yeah, uh, we got some wonderful stories in about moms that were sitting with their children and identifying things that their children were interested in in the community and sort of, you know, um, families teaching their children about giving and supporting their community. And so they got to, they let their children pick certain agencies. You know, if they supported animals, then they might, if they liked animals, they might pick an animal specific agency. But so that was really sweet. Society or some other groups that are working, and there's arts organizations. Mm -hmm. So let's step back to shoregivesmore.org, the website. And for anybody that does online shopping, we're familiar with like that shopping cart kind of feature. You go to Amazon, you do a search, you can you know, plug in all the things you want. And this is very similar to that. It's exactly similar to that, which is wonderful because you know, not every donor or not every person is comfortable with online giving, but we're here to help you by making it just as easy as your online shopping. It, it's exactly the same. You build a shopping cart and instead of buying things that you want or you might be interested in, you're donating to those agencies through your shopping cart. So you can load one agency after the other and get one complete transaction total for your credit card or e-check that you would be using to process your payment. 
And so there is a minimum, right? It's a $10 contribution would be the smallest. So you could come on and give one contribution for $10 or you could give multiple contributions and end up, you know, five of your favorite organizations at $10 a piece. Yep, you have a lot of options. Um, the minimum gift, as you mentioned, is $10, but there's no maximum. So if you are feeling very generous, you can give as much money as you would like through the portal. Um, it's a great way to assist the nonprofits that you support in the donor engagement and participation prizes that we offer, which is a really fun little thing that we do for Giving Tuesday. So let me stop you there. So as an example of something like that, you know, we're, we're right now in the phase where we're encouraging organizations to become part of um, the Shore Gives More website. Mm -hmm. Last year we had about 58 different nonprofits. I would imagine this year will be there or above. Um, what kind of incentives are you talking about? So this is something that the organization gets, right, for participating. Right. This is, um, you know, what the, a lot of what the foundation does in the community on top of our grant making is just try to support and add capacity to the work that nonprofits are doing. So through the support of some donors and the community foundation itself, we've been able to create an incentive pool. And for an example of that would be, say, in the 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock a.m. hour in the morning, uh, the nonprofit that raises the most money in each of the counties that we serve will get an extra incentive, say a $500 incentive, on top of whatever funds they raise. So it's just a way to sort of build some extra momentum in the day. And last year we had some organizations that were specifically targeting certain incentives so that they could drive all their contributions. Um, you mentioned when you were talking about that that we had some supporters help, um, you know, sponsor the day. Uh, the Community Foundation certainly won, um, but let's make sure we highlight the other um, folks that are helping us out this year. Yeah, so we have over overall for the whole platform or the whole Giving Tuesday event, we are partnering with Delmarva Power, Exelon Company, and uh, 47 ABC is our media sponsor, and we definitely appreciate that. We also have the support of the Purdue Family Foundation um, Fund that we host at the Community Foundation. And then the foundation itself has uh, the Hershey Family Fund supporting our own fundraising, which is for our Help Your Neighbor Fund, which does crisis ministry support in the community. So we'll be on there too. We'll have our logo up and our page, and we're specifically talking about the Help Your Neighbor Fund. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that do? So the Help Your Neighbor Fund is, I think, one of the most amazing funds we hold at the foundation, thanks to our donors. Um, it provides support to agencies and churches, government entities that are supporting families and individuals in the community living under the poverty level that are having trouble uh, maintaining and keeping their homes due to backed up utility bills, uh, mortgage issues, food insecurities. Um, sometimes people need the benefit of prescription assistance or transportation assistance to get to job interviews. And so we have a fund specifically for that. It's called the Help Your Neighbor Fund. And so we don't grant specifically to individuals in crisis, but we work with organizations like the Christian Shelter or the Seton Center and many, many others. And if they have um, that type of need within their organization, they can apply for a Help Your Neighbor grant. Yes, and we would love to talk to any of the groups in the community that are providing that service. Um, it has been a wonderful asset. That fund, I think, has already put out over $200,000 since it was created. Um, average grant making of $20,000 plus a year. But often through really modest grants, yes, $1,000 at a time and, mm -hmm. you know, just to help meet those needs. Yeah. So you're with Community Foundation Spotlight, and we're highlighting our Giving Tuesday campaign. We were talking about our Help Your Neighbor Fund, which will be featured there, along with dozens and dozens of other local nonprofits on that day, November 28th. And Heather Mailer, our program director, is sharing why is Giving Tuesday? So what is so special about, we encourage charitable giving all the time. It's our mission. What is great about this one day and this one place? Well, I think that a single day of giving allows nonprofits to really focus their energy on marketing, promotion, and how they can engage donors individually. So there's a lot of different ways that you can interest donors in being a part of this campaign. The other exciting component to it is that it is online, and it's really focused on social media and 
other sharing websites. So you can get a lot of exciting and fun um, little social media sharing um, things that are happening on that day. And we had gifts last year from like 20 something states, right? All we over did. the country for organizations that were right here in Somerset, Wicomico and Worcester. We did and I think that speaks to the social media sharing. For example, on Facebook, um, you can engage your friends and family that live in other states. You know, if they find out that you work for a wonderful nonprofit in Maryland and and you, you're having a giving day on November 28th, and it's so easy for them to go to the platform website and give, that we did see a great number of donations from across the U.S. Now let's talk about um, security and trust and why this platform, because we know that whenever there's you know some kind of fundraising need, people tend to be nervous about giving online or nervous about you know who the organizations are that they're supporting. And I think that's one of the um, uh, wonderful opportunities we have here through our Giving Tuesday Sure Gives More campaign is that we're working with the organizations right now. So talk a little bit about who can sign up to be part of um, the, the campaign. Okay, sure. Um, so any nonprofit in the Tri-County area, Wacomico, Worcester, and Somerset is um, eligible to sign up. And you don't have to be currently working with the foundation in any capacity to sign up. You just have to, you know, know what the program is about, be interested in it, and there's an inquiry process through that Sure Gives More website. It's very easy. It's just a basic form that you fill out. Um, if you were curious about the campaign, you could contact our staff ahead of time. We would be fine with, you know, explaining that all up to you. And then for the um, donor, that lets them know that we vetted that. So we've made sure that their 501c3 is, is up to date. We know that they're in good standing with the state of Maryland. And so that's an opportunity to know that these are local nonprofits that are working in the community and they can feel confident about helping to support them. Yes, and, and along the same lines, actually, the foundation has done quite a bit of work while we're building out this um, donation platform to make sure that donors can also feel secure in the, in the processing of their payment. So we have worked to set up a, an initial processing um, vendor and a secondary processing vendor. So we have, um, we're using very reputable companies in how we process the donation and then help distribute that to the nonprofits. Yeah, so one-stop shop, safe, secure, you know the, the, the organizations are local. So um, let's remind uh, any viewers that we're talking about uh, Giving Tuesday Sure Gives More. What's the date? It's November 28th this year, um, the Tuesday after Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And we want them to visit SureGivesMore.org. Yep, SureGivesMore.org. Um, if you come in on November 20th, you can schedule your payments or your donations that day. They will, they will all take place on November 28th, but you can pre-schedule. And we'll look forward to, you know, last year we had uh, almost 60 organizations raised more than $88,000 in just one day, which is phenomenal. And this year we know we're going to, you know, far exceed that. So um, join us on November 28th uh, as part of our Giving Tuesday campaign. Thank you, Heather, for joining us and talking a little more about, um, you know, all the opportunities that people can have. And we ask for your help and support on November 28th to help us prove that the shore gives more. Thanks for watching.